wrestler team Imavov. Imavov stands taller by three inches at six feet, three inches tall. Sniper Imavov! Beach, Florida, here is Phil Megatron Hall! Into tonight, Imavov is in the blue, Hawes is in the black. Three rounds possible. The only thing I'd say for Hawes, Phil Hawes, is he's got to be careful because if you knock someone out in 18 and a minute 18, you know, of course, that sends a message. I can knock people out. I'm fast. I have a striking advantage over a lot of people. But that confidence, and if you look for it, it can be detrimental. Any good coach will tell you, don't look for the knockout. Just let it come Wait. naturally. Has gone to the leg several times in the first 30 seconds. And he's a fast starter for sure. Checked by Mava most times. Feigns the takedown. Former rest at Iowa State. Oh, counter shot. Mavov was covering up. Yeah, the man has serious power and speed and technique, to be honest. The hands come back. He's in good position. See the way he glided out the way there. Then he chops away at the calf. Nice variation of strikes. Keeping him above guessing. Oh, oh look at that. Nearly sits him down completely with the leg kick. <laughs> Just right in the face of a mob off since the opening second. It's the speed of Hawes that is giving him above so many problems. Speed is such a great advantage to have. If you're a striker, if you're faster than the other guy, you know, it's it's very, very difficult to overcome a speed advantage. It's going to be all strategy, grappling, takedowns. Of course, I don't think he's going to get the takedowns against Phil Hawes because, as we said, the D1 wrestling that he has. But he can catch him by surprise. Do not grab the gloves. Hawes was also a junior college national champion at Iowa Central Community College. Two minutes in, Hawes with outside position as they clinch. And wraps up a had a high crotch single leg there for a moment. Hawes has got good head position here, just taking his time, controlling his man, and then trying to see what Imamov gives to him. All right. Careful. This guy on is dying to get involved tonight. <laughs> Mahaz with the body lock. If this stays here much longer, I think the referee, and there it is, there's the warning, is going to probably break this up soon if there isn't a takedown or a separation, guys. Careful. Not much doing here. Somewhere, somewhere, Kamara Usman is proud. <laughs> and Mabov trying to force some separation with the shoulder strike. Usman should just be proud based on what he did last week, my oh, goodness. Absolutely. Beautiful performance. Incredible. You see, Horst has got the double underhooks. Oh, he's got one underhook, pardon me. Thought he had the double. Trying to get the takedown. <laughs> Needs to drop his weight down. Level change, drop down, go for the legs. And then Mabov just nowhere to go to really do anything with this pressure of Haas. Yeah, I mean, for Phil Haas, he's winning the fight. Ooh, that was a good elbow, though. And there it is. That's what he's been looking for. Let's see what he can do with it. And the elbow out of Mabov actually opened the door for Haas to land that takedown. But look at him, Mabov nearly right back to his feet. One minute to go, round one. Nearly up, but he's going back down. And he's right into side control. So this is a good position. Phil has 50 seconds to make this work for him. Let's see what he tries to do with that left leg as it's locked up in the half guard of Mabov. Yeah, if he gets his left hand and pushes on that right leg, he can just step over into mount and then for the next 30 seconds try and pound the living daylights out of him. He's trying to get wrist control. With that left hand, trying to sneak it around and grab the wrist of Mabov. 
Stay busy. It's like stay busy. I can't move. I can't do anything. Tell Phil Hall to stay busy. <laughs> Now he loosens up the right. Final 10 seconds coming around number one. Haas landing there. Yeah, good shots. All pressure from Haas. Round two coming up. Easy.